Okay, I don't know if this will work or not. I have been adjusting my settings and I'm attempting to record my polygon program here. So you can see there's a polygon here. I can change the color of it. It's currently a triangle and I can change it to any of these colors. Um, I also can change the draw mode. So I'm capable of changing back and forth between uh, just a, a filled polygon and just the outline. And there's also more I can do. For example, I can increase the number of sides of the polygon and I can also make it be a, a filled uh, a, a, a star poly, filled star polygon and an outline of a star polygon. So it's very interesting how this works. Um, yeah, it's cool. So I have I'm able to change the polygon in all kinds of ways here. Yeah, I like doing that. I like seeing what the different forms look like. And I can also do this, which is kind of cool. I can change the, it goes from the center to the corners. And this just draws the pixels. But I'm going to show you something really cool. I can go all over the place. See, here's the thing is I have full control over this polygon. So um, I'm going to shrink it here a little bit. And then I can move the polygon around anywhere I want with the mouse, with the left mouse thing. Now if I right click, then it doesn't clear the screen each frame. So it ends up overriding. The polygon keeps spinning, but it keeps overriding things. Yeah, and it's cool. So I can change the color, the polygon keeps spinning. I can draw little things. So that's, that's nice, but it looks even cooler once we start ha changing the colors and have it be the outline of the polygon. So this is where it just gets really nice because I have all this control. Um, so let's see now, let's, let's change it back to a star polygon and try this. You see, <laughs> it works great. I just love this. This is so nice. And whenever I want to clear the screen so I, it just shows the polygon by itself, I do that. So now here we have a hexagram. It's a six-sided uh, so star polygon, and you see it's it's actually um, it's actually made up of two triangles. The code behind this one was a little bit more complex than some of the others. But so here we have regular hexagon, um, uh, outline of hexagon. We got filled hexagram and outline of hexagram, and then there's that and there's that. So as you see, I can change the mode of how the polygon is drawn and I can change the color too. So let's let's try this for example. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, this is this is a very powerful program the types of things it can do because of the ability to just move things everywhere I want. So let's, for right now let's have this be yellow and then let's make this polygon bigger again. Okay and now let's, let's we're gonna really test my my hardware here. This is gonna be very interesting. So first let's increase the number of sides dramatically. Okay there's many corners, it's, it's going very fast. Now we're going to increase the step through this to make a really crazy star polygon. You see that? Whoa. Yeah. That's where it gets pretty freaky. So see, I can still change the color of this anytime I want. It's amazing. Now what happens if I turn off the screen clearing with the right mouse click? You see? Instantly, it already starts filling it up like that. Yeah, it's pretty freaky. And then I can change the color and then I can shrink it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, yeah, as you see, <clears throat> it's a lot to handle. And amazingly, um, I'm still able to actually record uh, this. I think, I hope that I'm not overloading my encoder. I am using raw recording and open broadcaster software. 
and it's really quite amazing. So now I'm going to make this go all the way back to being a plain old triangle. <clears throat> then let's make it an outline of a triangle. Let's make it a little bit bigger here so it almost fills up the whole screen. And then I'm going to make sure it's centered around here. Okay, shrink it just a little bit. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite things to do is to erase the clearing of the screen. Uh, I mean, turn it off. And then you see that? It keeps spinning, but I just simply change the color. And the new color slowly overwrites the old. Yep, it works. It works wonderfully. And then it starts getting really freaky because I can I can do this and then green shrink it. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm doing is I'm shrinking the polygon um, after changing the color. <laughs> so what ends up happening is as it draws new lines um, some of the old color pixels are are replaced while others are not because you got to realize we are slowly shrinking it so there's going to be some parts where the line touches that they that they did it before and they don't touch where they did before so I'm basically just slowly shrinking this and the colors are just kind of really overwhelming on the eyes as I keep doing this. But I can actually do so much more than this. So for example, let's do this again. Let's have, turn that off, move the polygon around, blue, green, cyan again, red, uh, magenta, yellow, white, blue, green. <laughs> you see that? It's just like absolutely crazy. And But what's interesting is when I do the, the pixels, the tiny pixels, you may not be able to see them, but then over time they, they fill that, that up. But then if I start moving this around, the three lines, they're trying to make us like a circular type thing. But because I keep moving the center, the lines just keep going crazy. They don't know where they're going. It's actually very impressive that I've even been able to make it do this. But anyway, yeah, um, my hard drive is going to fill up if I keep recording this much longer. But you get the idea. I have this incredible polygon that I can change in a matter of ways as it spins. And I've done other videos, but this might be the most successful recording session I've had because I'm using different settings with OBS. So I hope somebody's enjoyed and I hope that my audio um, worked this time.